The peer support centers are part of the prevention and early intervention component of the Mental Health Services Act. The goal of this component is to help counties implement services that promote wellness, foster health, and prevent the suffering that can result from untreated mental illness. The PEI component requires collaboration with consumers and family members in the development of PEI projects and programs. Staff attend internal case management meetings with the access team, crisis team, treatment team, and work with the housing coordinator to identify housing needs of consumers and to link community members to treatment services. Staff also attend direct care meetings, housing navigator meetings, and provide an access point for the 100-day challenge. Staff educate peers on the available services and how to schedule appointments. If needed, staff assist in scheduling assessments and appointments while also being available to provide transportation. The food giveaway is monthly at the center, allowing the community members to access free food for their families. Providing access to local resources and services is how the center is helping to prevent the negative possible consequences to a person experiencing homelessness, mental health issues, substance use, and food insecurity. The center also participates in community events such as food giveaways, mental health awareness, and providing training on suicide prevention. Staff work on educating the community on severe mental illness, substance use disorders, and the importance of good nutrition. We also work with the Lake County Patients' Rights Advocates to ensure that people we work with are provided equitable services while being respected. The center provides resources, referrals, and support for families involved with the county mental health system or that need more information on available community resources. Some of the groups offered at the center include the Parent Cafe, Art Groups, Cooking on a Budget, Resume Support, Employment Support, and Life Skills. We currently offer these groups in person, on Zoom, and Facebook Rooms. The center also has a clothing closet and a food giveaway on the fourth Monday of every month. The center is a safe, comfortable environment in which to learn more about behavioral health services in our community, get connected to appropriate services or programs, and socialize with others in the community. The LCBHS Parent Partner is housed at the Family Support Center. The Parent Partner provides peer-to-peer -peer understanding, supports parents in navigating the services system, and advocates for their needs. The Parent Partner also brings non-clinical insights on how to seek appropriate services and communicate with service providers. The Center offered a daily support group in person or over Facebook rooms and several activities during Mental Health Matters Month virtually and in person. The virtual services allowed many community members the opportunity to join activities they may not have been able to attend previously. The Family Support Center has been successful with the food giveaway and had community members thank them for what they are doing. The center holds the food giveaway at the end of the month to be able to help families or individuals who are struggling towards the end of the month. The Family Support Center served a total of 1,001 individuals in fiscal year 2021. Of those 1,001 people served, seven were transitional age youth, 16 to 25 years of age, 14 were adults, 26 to 59 years of age, seven were over age 60, and 994 did not report their age.